Hello everyone, and welcome to another exciting edition of... Now today we are opening up a box of 2000-2001 Upper Deck Heroes Hobby. This is the Canadian edition, which has exclusive game-used stick cards inside. I'm not sure which ones are exclusive to Canada versus regular. I guess we'll just find out by opening. There's 28 packs per box. There's 8 cards per pack. There's chance for, as I said, game-used stick cards, game-used dual stick cards, numbered out of 50, which go for pretty good money nowadays. And then those autographs. Well, there's guys like Wayne Gretzky in there, which are excellent. Um, I personally hope we don't pull Steve Eiserman or Bobby Orr, not because they're not great players, but because those are redemptions only. And believe me, a product that's 21 years old, kind of tough to uh, get to get that redemption in hand. Before we begin our box break, my friends, if you like the content that we're producing at the end of the video, if you enjoyed yourself, give our channel a subscribe, and we know you'll love it here. Give the video a like, share it if you feel like it. And don't forget to answer our viewer engagement question, because our viewer engagement questions turn into comment shoutout portions at the end of each of our videos. So our viewer engagement question for today is, who was your favorite rookie player to debut in the early 2000s? So this can be any player who made their NHL debut from the year 2000 up until 2005. Anyone in that range. So share it with us and you might just get featured on the comment shout out portion on our next edition of Box Breaks with Bruce. But without further ado my friends, you know what I'm about to say by now. Oh, let's get ready for Box Breaking. Alright. Okay, so we know how we do it by now. We always start with the left stack, top left if there's four. So we'll start with top left stack and we'll see what nice things we get. So we got Curtis Joseph, who's featured on the front of the pack. Stated odds of the cards are as follows. The game used twig cards fall about 1 in 83. The autographs 1 in 71. The exclusive Canadian twigs are 1 in 195. And the gold versions out of 50. Those would be pretty cool to get. All right. Okay, so simple photography, but nice and clean, and also no excessive shine like Black Diamond, so it's easier to film. Uh, Guy Hebert. Olaf Kolzig. Oh, that's pretty cool looking mask. Wow. John Van Beesbrook. Manny Fernandez. We have an insert. Future Heroes of David Gosselin. Okay. We have Portrayals, which I'm assuming is in, oh no, it's a subset of the main set, but Portrayals of Jeff Friesen. Kind of reminds me of 0304 Upper Deck Ice. Interesting. Then we have Hockey Immortals of Guy Lefleur and Brad Richards. Chris Pronger. Radek Bonk, Sergei Fedorov, Jeff O'Neill, Pat Verbeek with the Red Wings, oh, all over the place. We have future heroes of Martin Havlat, portrayals of Jeremy Roenick, and we have timeless moments of Brian Boucher. Nice shiny insert of the goalie who still holds the modern day NHL consecutive shutout record with five. All right, Cliff Running, Ryan Smith, Andrew Burnett, Daniel Sedin, Hockey Immortals of Bobby Orr, can never complain about a Bobby Orr card, unless we get a redemption in this box, but so far so good. All right, future heroes of Jordan Krestanovic, yes, Alexander Mogilny, and Mike Bossy, Hockey Immortals. Steve Sullivan, 
The Dominator, Dominic Hoshik. Steve Shields. Theo Fleury. Doug Gilmore. Portrayals of Pavel Bure. Mark Denis. And future heroes of Michel Riesen. Michel Riesen. Henrik Sedin. Martin Straka. Saku Koivu. Denis Potvin. Bobby Holik. Portrayals of Steve Eiserman. Hockey Immortals of Bobby Hull. And Mats Sundin. Today's Snipers insert. Just something about these early 2000s ones that are just so busy and shiny and wild that I just love. Mike York. Scott Pellerin. Nicholas Lidstrom. Tony Amante. Future heroes of Colin White. Portrayals Timu Salani. Got checklist card of Wayne Gretzky. Again, can never complain about the great one. And Milan Kraft. We have Chris Osgood. Sandis Ozolinch. Sergei Samsonov. Dan Kluche. Hockey Immortals of Jubert Perrault. Tyler Wright. Future heroes of Rick DiPietro. And Curtis Joseph portrayals. Okay, we got Jocelyn Thibault, Joe Thornton, Pavel Dimitra, Patrick Laleem. Love that Marvin the Martian mask even to this day. Hockey Immortals, Stan Mikita, Mark Savard. Future heroes of Roman Chechmanic, who had some excellent years for sure. And we have NHL leaders of Marc Messier. Matt Sundin, Sean Burke, Randy Robitaille, Trevor Kidd, future heroes of Steven Reinprecht, portrayals of Patrick Waugh, portrayals of Joe Sackick, and immortals of Brian Troche. Uh, Tim Connolly, Glenn Murray, Milan Hayduk. Miroslav Shatan, or Shatan, Vincent Domfus, Hockey Immortals Frank Mavlich, Martin Lepointe, and Future Heroes of Marion Gabrick. I believe these are all supposed to be rookies. 001 season, of course. Gabrick, one of the better rookies from that class. The other main one being Justin Williams. Yuri Lettinen. Hey, there's our good old buddy, old pal right here. Arthur's Urbe. What do you think? Oh yeah, Urbe's always got to approve of an Urbe card. Very awesome. Gary Roberts, Keith Kachuk, future heroes of Johan Holmqvist. Very cool. Yarmer Yager portrayals. Marty McKinnis and timeless moments of Brett Hull. All right, Donald Odette, Tommy Sallow. Marius Tchaikovsky, Luke Robitaille, Daryl Shannon. We have portrayals of Marian Hossa. We have Hockey Immortals of Cam Neely and Alexei Kovalev. Alexei Zhamnov, Byron Defoe. Cards every which way throughout this box, I love it. Sergei Zubov, Ron Francis, Hockey Immortals of Marcel Dion. Adam Dedmarsh. Future heroes of, of Zenik Blatsny and portrayals of Brendan Shanahan. Steve Ruchin, Roman Turek, Patrick Stefan, future heroes of Rostislav Klesla, portrayals of Ray Bork, 
Hockey Immortals of Maurice the Rockets Richard, Maxime Sushinsky, and Heroes, second season Heroes of Steve Eiserman. All right, on to our right stack now. So far, no big hits. A couple of better rookies from that rookie class, of course, but nothing we're dancing about just yet. All right, we have Simon Gagné, David Legwand, Pierre Turgeon, Brian Boucher, Hockey Immortals of Michel Goulet, David Vivorny, Future Heroes of Scott Hartnell, and portrayals of Paul Correa. Viktor Kozlov, Peter Forsberg, Mike Dunham, Denis Schwitke, Future Heroes of Tyler Bauk, Brian Leach, Alex Tange, and Hockey Immortals of Bernie Perron. JP Dumont, Ron Tugnut, Fred Brathwaite, Portrayals John LeClaire, Hockey Immortals Wayne Gretzky can't complain, Future Heroes of Jonas Ronquist, Sergei Bergen, and Player Idols Bryn Shanahan. David Legwand, Viktor Kozlov. Forsberg, oh, we just spoiled it, oh well. We have a Game Use Twigs card of Gilbert Perrault. Gilbert Perrault. Nice stick piece, nice vintage goodness. Leave that for the end of this. Brian Leach. John LeClaire Portrayals, and Hockey Immortals, Wayne Gretzky. Urbe, what do you think about this Jube Perrault stick card? Yeah, I, I, I generally will say any vintage player's item in a low-priced product such as this is a, is a win in my books. Now, if I paid three, four hundred bucks for this, I'd be not so happy, but the price of this is so low, uh, this is just a fun little surprise from it. So, all right, cool. But we may still pull an autograph yet. So the fun may not be over. And even if it is, we're already doing okay. Palmara, Tippo Noonan, Adam Oates, Owen Nolan, Mark Messier, Joe Neuendijk, portrayals of Mark Messier and Hockey Immortals of Tony Esposito. Scott Stevens, Ziggy Palfi, Alexey Yashin, Martin Rushinsky, future heroes of Roman Simicek. Then we have portrayals of Mike Medano, Eris Bremanis, and NHL leaders of Alexey Yashin. Ed Belfour, Corey Stillman, Brian McCabe, Jean Sebastien Aubin, Hockey Immortals of Jean Beliveau, Mark Greig, or Greg, Yanni Herme, Future Heroes, and Portrayals of Peter Forsberg. Dominic Hasek, Henrik Sedin, Theo Fleury, Saku Koivu, Portrayals of Pavel Bure, Immortals of Denis Potvin, Future Heroes of Michel Rizin, and Portrayals of Steve Eiserman. Good, Martin Straka, Mike York, Nicholas Lidstrom, Every Which Way, Bobby Holik, Future heroes of Colin White, Hockey Immortals of Bobby Hull, Wayne Gretzky Checklist, and second season heroes of Wayne Gretzky. Can't complain about getting Gretzky anything. If not longer, Scott Pellerin, Chris Osgood, Tony Amante, 
Sergei Samsonov, Portrayals of T. Mussolini, Immortals of Jube Perro, Milan Craft, and Future Heroes Rick Di Pietro. All right, we have Sandis Ozolinch, Jason Allison, Dan Kluche, Keith Primo, Tyler Wright, Future Heroes of Jeff Cowan, Portrayals of Cujo, and Ray Whitney. Down to our final three. We have Greg Hoggood, Patrick Eliash, Rob Blake, Shane Doan, Vinny Le Cavalier, Hockey Immortals of Mario Lemieux, Future Heroes of David Abisher, and Today's Snipers of Paul Correa. Brad Stewart, Mike Richter, Brett Hull, Valerie Burry, Bobby Clark, Sean Brown, Chris Drury, and Scott Gomez. Jose Theodore, Doug Waite, Oleg Twardowski, Sergey Gonchar, Future Heroes of Justin Williams, not bad. Portrayals of Martin Brodeur, Hockey Immortals of Gordie Howe, and Ricard Pearson. Never heard of him before, interesting. Recap, not really much of a recap for this one. We got a Joubert Perot game use stick. Other than that, there's some common rookies. There's of course no serial numbered cards in there and we unfortunately didn't get an autograph this time, but hey, that's how it goes sometimes. Urbe, what did you think about this break of 001 Upper Deck Heroes? Ah, Urbe says it was all right. Main reason, we're not guaranteed any hits. And of course, when you get a, a game used card, if you get a vintage guy, who had a hell of a career, and from a low-priced product, yeah, you're still doing okay, but could have been so much better, it also could have been a box without a hit, which that would have been not so good. All right, so it's that time you all love. It's comment shout-out time. So, first comment that gets a shout-out, my friends, is from JL. Our viewer engagement question in the previous video was what was your most memorable Stanley Cup final matchup of all time. So JL says, 2009 Pens over, wing, over Wings was the most memorable for me. I was a Pens fan too young to remember the 91 and 92 Cups. There also was a long stressful time when the future of the franchise was in serious doubt. That Cup was something I wasn't sure I would ever see and I'll never forget the feeling of Marc-Andre Fleury diving to save the win in the last seconds. It took me a solid 30 seconds to process they had actually done it. That was a very good cup run, especially a back-to-back -back, uh, Stanley Cup final matchup between Detroit and Pittsburgh. Nice little battle that became. Of course, Detroit won the 08 Cup. Pens took 09 and 7 games. Very, very cool. That was definitely a very good one. Thanks for the comment, JL. And we'll shout out one more comment. This one is from NB Collectibles, who says, Nice wa and pull the beast in Huberdeau. Huberdo just had one hell of a season, and yes, playing somewhere else than Florida, his cards would be more in demand. So, of course, that's referring to the hits we got in our previous box, which is the 1314 Black Diamond. And absolutely, we got a couple of nice Patrick Waugh cards in there, and the rookie gems of Jonathan Huberdo is nothing to complain about. He is, in my eyes, definitely a superstar player, just in a market where they don't get as much recognition as they would be in a little larger market. But still, thank you so much for the comment, MB Collectibles. And if you want your chance to be featured on a comment shout out portion of any future video, don't forget to take part in those viewer engagement questions we post near the beginning of the box breaks. I had a lot of fun. It's a nice little lower end break, but something a little bit different. Hope you enjoyed yourselves as well, that you consider subscribing to the channel. And until next time, all of my friends, have yourselves an excellent day. Bye bye.